The song is written about Eric Clapton's four-year-old son, Connor, who died on March 20th, 1991, after falling from the 53rd floor window of a New York City apartment. Eric Clapton and Italian model Lori Del Santo met in 1985. Not long after, in August of 1986, their son Connor Clapton was born. Eric and Connor would play for hours, kicking balls around on the terrace and going for walks in the garden. He deeply loved his little boy, but had no idea where to begin with him, so he just let Lori raise Connor, which she did brilliantly. Three years after Connor was born, Eric and Lori went their separate ways. However, the two would meet up so Eric could see Connor from time to time. Lori stated, It was a special day. Connor and I had come to New York for Easter to spend time with Eric, and he had taken Connor to the circus on Long Island. They had such a great time. When Eric got back, he looked at me and said, I now understand what it means to have a child and be a father. He was so happy. It was the first time that Eric had ever had Connor on his own. That night, I put Connor to bed. He was pretending to be asleep, but when I went to bed, he jumped in with me. He was so excited about the day he'd had with his daddy. The following day, on March 20th, Eric was coming to collect Lori and Connor to take them to Central Zoo. Lori states, Connor was in his room, still wearing his pajamas. He wouldn't go to sleep in any others. He was playing with his nanny, and I heard him talking and shouting happily. I was having a bath and getting changed, ready to go to the zoo. It was 11 a.m., and I shouted to him from the bathroom to hurry up, and he shouted back happily, In a minute. That day, the apartment block janitor was in the apartment cleaning. Lori had told the nanny and the maid not to leave Connor alone for one second. Lori came out of the bathroom and heard the fax ring. I was there for 15 minutes, during which time I heard Connor suddenly start running as he decided to play hide and seek. I heard the nanny and she was running right behind him, but as Connor ran into the room where the janitor was cleaning, the janitor stopped her to tell her that he had slid open the window and a huge wall of glass. In the second the nanny stopped to listen to what the janitor was saying, Connor ran straight through the open window. Lori heard a dreadful scream, but it wasn't Connor, it was the nanny. Lori ran into the room shouting more and more hysterically, Where's Connor? Where's Connor? Lori continues, Then I saw the open window and I understood at once. I felt all my strength leave me and I collapsed on the floor. Lori then called Eric Clapton at his hotel room explaining to him in hysterics that their son had just died. Then I got a phone call from Lori just kind of screaming. She said, he's dead. I thought, what's she talking about? And she said, he fell out the window. There couldn't have been a bigger nightmare before anyone could stop him. Four-year-old Connor Clapton had plunged to his death from the 53rd floor of the Galleria building. He'd made it past his mother and three other adults who were in the apartment to a window that had just been cleaned and left open. There was nothing to break his fall except the roof of an adjoining building. It's just a tragic accident that the child apparently wandered into, into the uh, bedroom, uh, wandered close to the window, and uh, just by the fact that the window ledge was uh, low, it, it appears that he just tragically fell out. The concierge called the ambulance, but obviously there was no hope. Eric went to see him at the mortuary, but I just couldn't. Whatever physical damage Connor had suffered in the fall, by the time I saw him, they had restored his body to some normality. I remember looking at his beautiful face in repose and thinking, this isn't my son, it looks a bit like him, but he's gone. Clapton stated, I went to see him again at the funeral home to say goodbye and to apologize for not being a better father. Lori said, I cried every day for four years and there's not a day goes by when I don't think, talk to, or pray for Connor. Connor, just four years old, the son of Eric and Lori, 
died on impact after a fall from the 53rd story window of his mother's New York City apartment. He landed on the roof of an adjacent four-story building. After the death of his son, Clapton made numerous public service announcements to raise awareness for child-proofing windows and staircases. After isolating himself for a period, Clapton began working again, writing music for the film Rush. He dealt with the grief of his son's death by co-writing Tears in Heaven for the soundtrack with Will Jennings. The song was produced by Russ Teitelman, who had worked with such artists as the Allman Brothers, James Taylor, Paul Simon, and the Bee Gees. The track was recorded in 1991 and released in January of 1992 on the Rush Motion Picture soundtrack. The song is one of Clapton's most famous, having reached the number two spot on the Billboard Hot 100 Singles Chart in 1992. Later that same year, Clapton released Unplugged, his performance recorded for the MTV series of the same name. His acoustic version of Tears in Heaven garnered the song further attention and accolade. In 1993, Clapton won six Grammys, including Record and Song of the Year for Tears in Heaven and Album of the Year for Unplugged. Will Jennings, who co-wrote the song with Clapton, stated, Eric had come to me and said, I want to write a song about my boy. He had the first verse of the song written, which, to me, is all of the song but he wanted me to write the rest of the verse lines and the release. Even though I told him that it was so personal, he should write everything himself. The song is very touching, deep, and meaningful, opening with the lines, Would you know my name if I saw you in heaven? Would it be the same if I saw you in heaven? Clapton there talking directly to his son. Will Jennings adds the touching lines, Beyond the door, there's peace I'm sure and I know there'll be no more tears in heaven. So this is clearly a very emotional song with the subject matter being involved here, the death of Eric Clapton's four-year-old son and the way that he died. Your mind can't even get around that sort of a tragedy. 49-story fall for anybody, let alone a young four-year-old kid. There are no words for that. Such a tragic, tragic accident. And it is really a wonderful, uh, brilliant, uh, beautiful song that Clapton came up with. The Tears in Heaven song. And when you really know what it's about and what's behind it, it makes the song just that much more meaningful. You can see this kid, just four years old, bright, bouncing, and happy. As I mentioned before, there are just no words for that. <laughs> 